stop all these siege tanks now, those drones really desperately trying to run for their lives. What he's normally done, or is he going to switch it up? But uh, we are starting the countdown now, and again, this will be a TVP on uh, MLG test bugs. So this is the first game between these two. Yeah, so game one in a best of seven, King of the Hill style, a monkey spawning as the orange Protoss, um, everyone's favorite cheesy Terran or unorthodox Terran as the blue Terran at rough, and we'll see what really goes down here. Test bug. Um, it is a map that I know a lot of pro players say favors Terran, and we'll see whether or not this holds true this time around, or whether or not A-Monkey will be able to take a game off of Ruff, and it looks like the game has just started. It is going to be Ruff spawning as the blue Terran once again at the 3 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Monkey spawning as the orange Protoss at the 10 o'clock position. Yeah, and again, these are the... Uh... This is the uh, counterclockwise position I was talking about for Ruff. I mean, if you look at his natural, nice and safe. But then you have that third that's kind of, you know, kind of up there in the uh, top, you know, center of the map, which it's not that far away. But again, it's, you know, you're starting to expand more towards, uh, you know, your opponent, in this case, Protoss player. And it'd also be interesting to see what Monkey can do for his third if, it, if the game gets that far, is he could also take that third in between... Um, you know, Ruff's third and his main that's right above the uh, gold rocks. And if he takes that, then that can be a very vulnerable place for drops and uh, all that. Yeah, I would naturally expect that they would try to go ahead and expand away from each other. Um, you know, Terran players generally use planetary fortresses, but that third location that you mentioned, just not a good place for a planetary fortress. As we now see a monkey already moving in, he does know where his opponent has spawned already as Ruff, now going to go ahead and chase the probe around. Look at the probe was trying to block the positioning on that barracks, but Ruff will not, ha will not have any of that, deciding to build the barracks a little bit further away. He can lift it off without a problem, and now you can see that Ruff also going for that refinery a very standard build so far and um, it's going to be a 13 gas perhaps followed by a 15 or 16 um, supply depot as now the probe tries to get some easy damage while the SCV is building yeah probably a little sigh of relief for monkey seeing that gas goes down so he knows there's no sort of fast you know two barracks play or any sort of proxy anything like that everything so far is nice and standard out of rough and uh, he actually might get this SCV which he actually does, so he picks off the SCV, very annoying. Uh, Ruff quickly finishes his barracks and is going to start now. We're going to watch this probe a little bit to see if he wants to steal that second gas or not. Um, a lot of protest players like stealing that second gas because they, you know, it delays the popular 1-1-1 build. But it looks like uh, Monkey just kind of hanging around. He actually might lose a probe, and wow, Ruff actually dropping that tech wire right in front of the probe doesn't wait to uh, drop it when he kills it. But uh, back at... Uh, the protest base he's actually getting a uh, 19 gas so a relatively earlier second gas but you know not the earliest it could be and he's actually getting a uh, fast second gate too and rough is now going to scout and he sh um, i think he should be able to see this depending if chrono boost will be used on the stalker or not yeah, exactly. One of the things that I'm going to question, though, is whether or not Monkey is going to go train up that first Stalker or if he's going to go for an early Sentry. Now, he did get that double gas early down, um, or down pretty early, so he may be trying to go for perhaps um, a Sentry expand. Meanwhile, I would expect, I, I would have normally expected a Reaper expansion coming in from Ruff, but that is not going to be the case, as he is now training up Marines and getting Stim very early. So, um, this is not a standard opening I've seen from Ruff in quite some time. Perhaps he's going to just open up with a marine timing push based upon the very very close spawning locations here yeah and it was very odd i thought that monkey is like you were saying was going to save up for an early century but actually did get a stalker it was really really late and i don't really know why but uh he has his first stalker trained up no chrono boost yet on the gateways he has a sentry and a stalker now coming out again and uh, the uh, SCV is scouted at the natural, so Monkey does take that out. But yeah, as you were saying, Ruff getting a second barracks and his second gas is finishing as well as throwing down a factory. And uh, just pumping out pure marine, so I'm wondering if he's uh, going to try to do kind of like a double medevac uh, drop with uh, with uh, stim marines or not. So, Or he might try to do some follow-up with Cloak Banshee, but since he's getting that stim, that, that, that's very unlikely. Along with this reactor, I really think it's going to be some sort of heavy marine play with um, uh, dropships. 
Yeah, I, I think based upon this timing, especially with Ruff now getting that engineering bait, I think it is going to be a, a, a drop. A starport should be coming online. He should start that level 1 weapons upgrade. And he should be able to get combat shield, level 1 weapons upgrade, and t uh, maybe maybe um, one or two medevacs in his opponent's space right as it starts and all monkey really has right now is all he really sees is a bunker on the front door and rough is really going to be uh, producing units very hard you can see that monkey now going into a nexus over here so he's going to be trying to expand as well and it's really going to boil down to whether or not monkey goes into colossi or templar fast enough he is going getting for that robotics facility he definitely needs a robotics bay and he needs a way to deal splash damage to the sheer number of marines that Ruff will have in just a moment. Yeah, the uh, bunker, and now going to be two bunkers at the front. Uh, most Protoss players, when they do see a bunker at the front, usually typically means some sort of Banshee rush or cloak Banshee rush, which is why the uh, robotics facility is thrown down. Because of one, he needs to get observers out for cloak Banshees. As you can see, he is just rallying his first observer to his base and not rallying it to Russ because he probably assumes that a banshee is on the way and also he needs to get more observers out to uh, actually see what is going on as rough is indeed getting double medevacs and combat shield and a uh, level one for his infantry weapons and it looks like he is still making workers so i'm pretty sure he might throw down an expansion after this but this build is a very odd at marine heavy build this looks like something his teammate murder would do murders very much like marines uh early on with tvp but uh, this honestly looks like some sort of a vari variation of a TVZ build with all these Marines. But anyway, regardless, we do have, oh wow, a whole bunch of STVs. So this is uh, quite an all in it. Oh, the Observer does see it. And uh, Monkey actually has five gateways with a six on the way. And now an Immortal out, Immortal won't really help that much. But uh, this is going to be... This is going to come down to force fields for sure. Yeah, it's going to t come down to force fields and I believe it's going to come down to guardian shields. The marines do have stim and now we're going to try to push in and oh, able to eat a lot of those force fields um, as the force fields are able to pull back. The me marines may try to go inside the medevacs and we'll see what's going to happen here. A lot of force fields, a lot of energy already being used and rough now continuing this push. A lot of SCVs are still trying to push in and immortals are going to fall, but will rough have enough firepower to finish this off is the key question as the marines are desperately low on health already. The combat shield has completed, but this is not looking good. No, it's not. If you look at the income tab, it's 33 harvesters to 17. Um, I really don't think rough can uh, have any way of winning this now. He's going to start losing his medevacs, which is what he needs to make this push work. He does load up, and he might actually lose this last one if he's not that careful, but Ruff, or uh, Monkey, is just going to push his way to the front. As you can see, Ruff did salvage one of his bunkers, so he no longer has his defense. He only has uh, one bunker up, and with an Immortal and six gateways back home, uh, this is... This would be the most miraculous hold if Ruff did hold this attack that's going to come. Yeah, this is not looking good. The Stalkers are going to be able to see up onto that high ground very easily now. The Marines are now trying to make their way over, are going to be able to get some damage. The Immortal will get destroyed first, but also the Medivac gets destroyed. A Stalker down to 8 hit points, getting very lucky there. And these Stalkers may simply just be able to start warping straight up onto the high ground as soon as this pylon completes. And this is not looking good. In comes another push. Ruff cannot move away with this Medivac. This is not looking good at all. As SCVs desperately trying to repair, unable to repair in time. And I believe Monkey is just going to take this game very, very easily. And also warping in a Nexus. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say that, about that. So Monkey throwing down the Manor Nexus. Uh, pretty much telling everybody that he has this game won. And rightfully so. He does have this game won. A very, very, uh, very odd build. Um... By rough that game. It's a very weird. Uh, that was a very weird all in. I c can absolutely see it working against certain types of builds, but uh, monkey playing very, very, um, I guess, safe and aggressive at the same time. He's very safe by getting that observer out fast, but then playing very aggressive because he he didn't know if a one 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 was on the way. He didn't know if code banshees were on the way, so he threw down six gate, and I think he was just gonna plan on doing a huge. Uh, timing uh, attack with immortals and you know pylons for six you know to have the six games warping in units back home so again very very odd build by rough uh again that would seem more like a build you would use as in a tvz as opposed to a tvp but um it was uh you know it was scouted on its way when you brought his scvs monkey 
had uh, pretty good force fields, and he was just able to roll over that force, to be honest.